this is, again, a great start by, by the women's side here. They're really taking control of this game. But, again, you cannot allow that matchup down low. Ronnie, what's the uh, point count there for Angie? Yeah, she's up to now. Not, it should be set. Well, she's got seven. You can should maybe make it nine. nine as, uh, yeah, well, monitor is uh, a little bit slow here. So McKay now through Wilson. Inside now again to McKay using size, making plenty of space. Corley unable to hold that one. Dwayne Davey wants a timeout. You know, generally out on the floor, get our teammates involved, but find, find those shots as well too for herself. That ball inside too, easy to McKay. And again, there's that matchup issue down low with the big. Substitutions also seem to be limited as well. We'll see how that one goes. Thank you there to Jacob. Inside though, McKay once again, it's too big, too strong, too good. Rebound taken away by Kelly Wilson. We will definitely need a numbers count on here, Ronnie. She's dominating this Absol ball game. McKay seals inside, gets it. Easy basket down low. So looking to solidify in this last three and a bit minutes towards half time. Kelly Wilson too. Easy to McKay. The one-two punch right here between McKay and Wilson is dominating this game. It's 38-34. Wants to go herself, find the bottom of the net. There's those prayers that just aren't answered at the moment. Thompson in a bit of a slump, but Wilson really pushing the pace over to McKay as easy as you like and one opportunity that is Bendigo Braves basketball at its finest running. They've done such a fantastic job tonight, probably one of the best games we've seen so far this season by the women's side and they're in a, still in a good position to try and win this. Wilson down low to McKay as McKay in support, we run playing well off ball here. Back to McLean, capable of hitting the jump shot and does, bottom of the net. And that's what Another I'm, timeout yeah. by Dwayne Davies.